Welcome to Middle Tian Hikes. Today, we're at Narrows of the Harpeth. Before you get on the trail, walk across the street where the Port of John and the maps are, and go down the little stairs, lead you down, you can see this end of the tunnel. So this side's not all that exciting, it's just a big hole. I mean, that is quite impressive. But on the other side, it looks like a waterfall. Just a very short walk up from the parking lot is the trailhead. And getting here is kind of weird, I mean, there's plenty of signage and you're going to find your way, but ooh, it's laid out funny. So this park is actually part of a bigger park. It's part of uh, Harpeth River State Park. And uh, the Harpeth River State Park is, is kind of scattered. There's, there's multiple locations, there's little bits and pieces here and there. Um, I'm gonna see how many of them I can do. It seems to, on the map, it seems to be a lot of little trails. If, if you just go to Harpeth River State Park on the internet, and there's a map there. It has all the trails on it. First trail is the Bluff Trail. Right off the bat, you're way up there. You're gonna climb a little ways. I'm a little winded from it. It's not far though. The whole trail's only a third of a mile, but uh, it's high up, and you're on a little ridge. Both sides drop off. Please keep an eye on the kids if they're up here running around. Pay attention where you're walking when you're up here. This is the trail. That's a ledge. And it's a long way down. As you can see, it gets real pretty real quick up here, but uh, this still isn't the big attraction. There it is, that right, little bitty rock. Y'all be careful up here. It's a long way down. But you got a nice open view. And people come up here and they sit on this rock. And they sit on this rock way above all this. It's worth the climb. I'm gonna enjoy this overlook for a minute. I'll be back with you. I picked a heck of a day to come up here. The wind is just awful. I'm sitting here. I'll just like to take a minute and uh, let y'all know that those of y'all that don't live around here and you're just visiting, you're watching this for tourism purposes. Um, we had a week and a half of solid thunderstorms followed by my kids being out of school for fall break and me not having enough time to get out and hike. But uh, I'm back. I'm here, and uh, I'm gonna get back to work. Um, got some new hiking shoes uh, this is not a paid endorsement at all I received no money for saying this but uh, Hayes shoes really went above and beyond trying to find boots that fit my foot um, I got a strange shoe size I got a funny width um, 
and they, they dedicate a lot of time towards making sure my feet were comfortable. So I just want to take a minute and thank them in front of you guys in case you're having the same problem. We're gonna hike back down. And there's a couple other little short, really short things I wanna show you. Now that I'm down the hill, I'm gonna walk past that trail. You got two options over here. And now it's time for the tunnel trail. This is the other end of the tunnel. Uh, this is where Montgomery Bell ran his forges for his uh, iron stuff. This ties in with some other trails we do. Uh, there's an old park named after Montgomery Bell. And it's got a lot of cool trails. So, always check out my playlists. Everything is organized according to park or interest. Like, this will be under waterfall. Anyway, I'm trying to make it easy for y'all. There's a bunch of kids down there, so I'm gonna leave them be. I'm sure they thought it's bad enough I'm weird looking, but then I'm talking to my phone. <laughs> they used to use that as a swimming hole, but uh, there's no swimming signs all over the place now. Well, the tunnel trail's the easiest. And the one to the overlook, I forgot the name of it. Sorry. First trail's the bluff trail. It's the most difficult. But uh, those are the two that are the most impressive. The other trail just walks down to a bridge and back, and it's not an old bridge, it's just a modern day bridge. Now it's time for the Harris Street Bridge access. I think it's just a float pull out where they pull canoes and stuff out. <clears throat> I'm not real sure. 20 years of hiking this place, and I've never been down this trail, so. Of course, it was unmarked for a lot of those years. I'm kind of regretting never taking this trail before. This is rather pleasant. Watch your head. And your step. As promised, this trail leads you to where you take some canoes out of the water. There's a lot of canoe rental places in this neck of the woods, and uh, they use these spots. It does flood under here. That stick crammed in there. I don't know why I never took this trail before. I like it. It doesn't go anywhere, but I like it. I'm gonna hike out of here and see if I got time to go to another section of the Harpeth River State Park and uh, maybe do a little hike in there too.